Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a little power supply and it's from uh, DGM Systems and it's the, the Model 101. It is uh, 36 volt 1 amp and I found it on my local eBay and yeah it just uh, stand out because of its uh, meters and we will have a closer look and we will open it and clean and uh, play a little bit. Yes and here we have it from the front. Nice aluminium front and these meters are amazing look at this and they still work at least it seems and it's just very basic controls voltage adjust fine adjust it has a current limit push to short so you probably need to short it to set the current limit and then you can let it go and uh, yeah it seems American I think you can try to find the some more on the internet later the it seems that it is stackable because the feet do fit in here so you can stack it i didn't find too much on the internet so i'll try to look a little bit further switchable from uh, 115 to 230 it's already switched to 230 um well let's see if we can find a little bit more it is a uh, well, linear power supply and it's not that heavy it's nice and blue it uh, did remind me a little bit of the of the delta supplies it did remind me because of the color and also the ease of uh, how to control everything it did remind me a little bit of this and this is a dutch product you find it a lot in uh, schools i like that they came with this model and uh, I don't know, somehow I made the connection. Let's find out a little bit more. Well, I found very little information on the internet, but uh, I can find on eBay a lot. And they have really educational uh, systems. Uh, I see fuel pressure pumps, uh, power supply, electronics. So they are really into, into training. I did look also for the company that did the import in the Netherlands. It is uh, Intron Instruments, and uh, I also I cannot find too much uh, about it. Uh, but it seems, and it's kind of the same name that it's now in. Uh, they are now in certifications. So uh, yeah, th th this is all I can find. But uh, we probably see a lot more when we open it. So let's do a quick power on test. The which was already set to 230 so that means we can switch it on let's have a look yes it seems to power on i don't see any movement but here it goes perfect wow look at this meter cool current limit well push to short so it's you can probably do the same by making a short circuit here but they also have a button for that and then you can just set it to 200 millis 400 etc okay convenient let's have a closer look at the meters this is just so cool that's why i just i don't need another power supply but i didn't have one with meters like this and they do seem to have created their own meters because it even says they jam there cool well let's open it up well, it doesn't look that uh, complicated to open i just see four screws i unplugged it from the power so I just have a look what it looks like inside and i remember from the delta electronica power supplies it was very very clean and all the cables were very nicely done it really looked like a quality product so let's see what they did yeah look at that well they did a very nice job to be honest big pcb i tried to find also this number the d525 but i didn't uh, find anything about it uh, maybe we can determine the age by the chips but they are on socket so they could have been replaced uh, at a later time 
but at least it uh, will give us an idea. Let's see. Uh, maybe I need to make a picture of this. But as you can see, the PCB is mounted. It's just on the mounted on the bottom plate, and uh, so it's easy to take apart. The connectors you can just pull out, so we can do that later to have a proper uh, clean. Oh, well, it says uh, 79 and 80, so uh, probably it's from there. Well, I really like to uh, give it a good clean because the meters are really what stands out. That's why I wanted it. And but they are all very dusty and they are not scratched. That's a good thing. But I could probably polish that also. So let's take it further apart. It seems that you can very easily just take the bottom out just by unplugging the cables. So let's try to do that. And let's see how far we can get. Well, that was very easy. It was just four screws in the bottom and the rest are just plugs so you can just take out and put back. So that's perfect. And uh, well, the PCB is still mounted on the bottom. So we can also take that out just to give it a good clean later. And uh, it seems that there is a big resistor on the bottom and not very sure that it is. That could be for the short circuit button or they are just measuring the current like a sort of a shunt. This is just so easy to work on. It just, it's all in modules. Now you just take out the front. I do two other screws. I can just take off the back. And uh, it's just so easy to work on. I already did the bottom and the back and the sides. So this is almost looking like new again. Everything is shiny. It's too bad of the sticker, but I want to leave it on. So maybe I put a little transparent tape over it. So I also managed to get the front uh, almost as new just by cleaning. Well, we can put it now uh, back together. So uh, put the PCB back, I'll reconnect the connectors. That is it. Perfect. So look at that, all shiny and uh, it seems to be working, so I'm going to do some basic uh, tests. So let's see, we switch it on. 10 volts, it's about 10 volts. Go to 20 volts. It says 21. Ah, but for analog. And it goes almost to 40 volts. 30 volts right here. Yeah, it's okay. Checking now the current limit, so I just put it short circuit. So I should now have about 200 millis. It has 400 millis, 600 millis. Look at that. The current limit is doing it very nicely. 800, and it should go to almost one. Yes. So that is it. 
very nice little power supply from a day gem system and uh, it's the model 101 and we almost have it back to new we took it apart completely it was all modular so it is really easy to work on and i'm very lucky all the meters are still working no scratches there and uh, yeah well that's in the end why i wanted to have it and uh, i found on the internet also they also have a generator from this uh, series so, uh, but that's about uh, it what I found. Thank you for watching and I uh, hope to see you next time.